Let me tell you 10 very underrated or rather underused features of Galaxy smartphones. First, so each time you turn on your lock screen, you see a new wallpaper. And every wallpaper is the one that you have personally chosen to be displayed on your lock screen. And your phone's display looks good always. To do this, go into settings, wallpaper and style, gallery, and then choose the wallpapers that you've downloaded and liked. And that's pretty much it. Once you're done with that, it's just gonna give you a preview and there you go. Each time you now turn on your lock screen, you see one of those wallpapers. Now, if you guys want the wallpapers that I showed in this video, I'll leave a link in the description. You can just download them. Next, on Samsung phones, you can edit a photo in a way that you can only choose to highlight a specific color in that photo. It's called spot color. So just go into the photo, click on the pencil icon, then go into the menu here and click on spot color. And now you can pretty much just tap on any color you wish to activate in that photo. And yeah, that color will show up. And of course, you can choose to add as many colors as there are in the photo, but that sort of defeats the purpose. But yeah, something to definitely try out. If you tend to take too many photos of the same thing, there's a way to identify and remove those duplicates. So just go into gallery, click on suggestions. And if you scroll down, you'll see that your phone has already identified duplicate pictures, if there are any. And then you can just clean them up, save some storage on your phone and have your pictures more organized. Now on most higher end Samsung phones, if you've got a picture with a sky, you can instantly convert it into a 24 hour time-lapse video, just like the one you see here. So open any photo with a sky, you'll see this time-lapse option. You click on it, takes a few seconds, and it just converts it into this really beautiful video that sort of mimics the entire time-lapse of the day. And of course, because it's a video on a Samsung phone, you can also pause it and grab a photo of that moment in the video. Next, if you quickly want to create a backup of your phone and keep it stored somewhere, you could just hook up a pen drive to your smartphone, go into Accounts and Backup, and scroll down to external storage transfer. And that's it. It's going to quickly create a backup and just store it on your pen drive, which you can then store safely. And if you want to encrypt it differently, you can do that too. You can choose whether you want to secure with Samsung account or a password of your choice. Next, you may have known that you can hide specific albums from appearing in your gallery. And so if you've got stuff to hide, like personal stuff or stuff, you can hide them and that way they're not visible upfront. But now you can hide photos from a specific date or of specific people. So if you go into settings, click on hide content, you can select dates and people that you don't wish to show up in your gallery. Now, we all know that Samsung phones, they come with built-in screen recording functionality. But then you can also use annotation tools that are built into the screen recording functionality to create tutorials or to be able to explain things to people at work or in family very easily. So if you tap on screen recording from your quick settings, you'll see the option to record your voice, which is mic. And you can also record where you tap on your screen. And now when you hit start recording, you'll see some options on the top right corner. One of them is to be able to highlight or annotate. And now I can give design feedback on a complete screen. So I could say remove this or make this larger, or I can just highlight a text link and say remove this or bring it a little down. I can even pause the screen recording and resume it from another screen if I wanted to. And then to make it even more interesting, I can turn on the front camera and also be a part of the screen recording. Next, if you want a quick surge of power, be it for gaming or you're just multitasking between documents and browsers or you have too many apps open, you can temporarily boost performance. So go into settings, scroll down to battery and device care and then click on battery and scroll down to more battery settings and you'll see something called as enhanced processing. And if you turn that on, it's just gonna run your processor at a higher clock speed. On flagship phones, you could go into more battery settings and you'll get a couple of profiles to switch between and you can switch to maximum for that temporary boost. Now, this next one, I bet none of you have even tried this. If you go into hyperlapse mode in your camera, your phone will tell you which setting to use for a specific kind of hyperlapse shoot that you're planning. So for example, recording at 5x is good for shooting people doing things, or 10x is good for moving traffic, or 15x is good for capturing moving clouds, 30x could be good for a walking crowd, and 60x for maybe recording sunrises and sunsets. So all you have to do is just click on that setting, that's it. And so next time you are traveling and you do have a tripod, definitely try this feature out. Next, when I'm on a video call, 
Even in WhatsApp, I can apply various background settings from various colors to different backgrounds. And yeah, as I said, even on WhatsApp. And as you can see, I can simply select any color of my choice and completely uh, remove my background in a way. To do this, go into settings, advanced features and scroll down to video call effects. And now you can have your four preset colors or you can choose any color from the entire spectrum or even a background image of your choice. And yes, it does work on many apps of your choice. Next, being able to remove unwanted objects or elements or people from your photo is not a new thing, but people are still downloading apps. There is an object eraser built right into your Galaxy phone. So if you go into the photo, click on edit, click on object eraser, and then you can zoom in to the part which you want to remove. Just highlight around it and that's it. AI will do its thing, click on erase and it's gone. So the better you are at marking that boundary, the cleaner is the object removal. So, and it's really easy. You don't have to be exact, but just roundabout. Next, there's a way that you can possibly increase the battery performance of your smartphone. So if you go into settings and then scroll down to battery and device care, click on battery, and then again, go into more battery settings and you'll see something called as adaptive battery. Make sure that this is turned on. But if you want to increase the overall health span of your battery and make it last longer in terms of years, you should definitely turn on this battery protection setting. Essentially, your phone won't charge more than 85%. And if you ensure that it never goes below 20%, that's the ideal way to keep your battery charged and really increase its lifespan. All right, that's pretty much it, guys. Those were some things I thought were either lesser known or lesser used or just underrated features of Galaxy smartphones. Now, of course, not all of these features will be available in all Galaxy smartphones. I hope it's there in your smartphone, though. All right, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any question, make sure you ask me in the comment section below. And if you did enjoy watching this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification icon and mark all. I'll see you guys in the next one.